My name is Bill Marler. I'm a trial lawyer. My law firm, Marler Clark, located in Seattle, Washington, specializes in representing victims of foodborne illness. Even though I'm a lawyer, and even though I'm representing people and suing companies, that actually I'm also a food safety advocate. Here's my plea. Put me out of business. For this trial lawyer, E. coli has been a far too successful practice and an heartbreaking one. I'm tired of visiting with horribly sick kids who did not have to be sick in the first place. I think in some respects, a lot of what I do fills in for what government fails to do or what industry convinces government not to do. The Jack in the Box outbreak was really the meat industry's 9-11. I started doing these kind of cases back in 1993 when I was hired by uh, the family of Brianne Kiner in the middle of the Jack in the Box outbreak. She was really the most severely injured child and I represented her and you know dozens of other kids who were really severely sick. Lawyers from around the country would refer cases to me because of the success I had in the Jack in the Box case. Foodborne illness in America is a sort of a shockingly big number. There's about 76 million foodborne illness cases in the United States every year. Over 325,000 people are hospitalized and there's about 5,000 deaths. We've developed a reputation in the industry as lawyers who are very serious about their work, that we come exceedingly well prepared uh, to the case, that we know our case forward and backwards, and more importantly, we know what the value of the case is because we've resolved a half a billion dollars of these cases over the last 15 years. We're one of the very few countries in the world that if your child is poisoned, regardless of if the government's doing a good job or industry's doing a good job or a bad job, you can stand up for your kid and take that company on, find out why it happened, and get compensation for your child. A lot of those families that I've represented have been to our home. I visited them in the hospital. I've been to funerals. You don't go through that kind of thing in life without having it impact you. And I find it would be very difficult to not sort of become passionate about what you do when people have let you into their lives at the most incredibly vulnerable times of their lives. And I look at that as, you know, a real honor. Mm -hmm.